Hi, my name is Michael French, and I'm a lead consultant at Pragmatic Works. I'd like to talk to you today about Azure Analysis Services Scale Up versus Scale Out. With the Scale Up, this is the standard capacity model that you expect from Azure. If you need more QPUs or query processing units and or memory, you just increase your pricing tier dynamically or you know, in real time and you have it. You have the ability to pause and resume your server as needed. It also gives you the advanced data refresh for near real time data model updates. In this model, you have one server that handles both processing and, query and client queries. With the scale-out model, client queries are distributed among multiple query replicas. This may reduce response time during a high query load. But mostly, the model processing is separated from the query pool. This can ensure that client queries are not adversely affected by processing. You can have up to seven additional query replicas given and your primary for an eight to, for a total of eight. Processing is always done on the primary copy on the primary server. Then the replicas are rehydrated in pairs. Therefore, if you have at least three replicas in your pool, a query can always find a valid model regardless of processing status. This is key for continually available data to the client. A simple note, replicas cannot be outside your region and are built at the same rate as the server. If you have replicas, you can affect the replica synchronization model. The default behavior is the full replica database rehydration in stages or incremental. However, you can configure the replicas to be optimized to optimize synchronization in parallel. This may speed up the rehydration across all the copies, but it also may require more memory. Regardless of whether you scale up or scale out, you need to monitor your QPU usage. There are three metrics you should use. First is the total QPUs. It's going to answer the question, are you hitting your max? Second is query pool job queue length. Are your queries waiting for available resources? The longer they wait, the less response time they're getting. And finally, QPU by server resource type. This compares the average QPU for the primary service server with the query pool. So in conclusion, we've talked about Azure Analysis Services scale up, we've talked about scale out, and how to monitor your QPU usage. Thank you, and have a good day.